His cute puppet slowly raises his knife. He flashed a smeg and ran towards the woman with his weapon. But he was kicked out of the way. A humiliated puppet Saturday on the floor and shook his head. In the bathroom, another girl was taking a shower. Family had another idea. He lifts the toaster and quickly rushes into the bathroom. The woman is starlit while Finley throws the toaster straight into the bath. They look at each other. Finley wondered how the toaster hand exploded. Looking at the floating toaster, he suddenly realizes he forgot to plug it in. After consecutive failed attempts, Finley was so angry that he hit the wall. Then a third person appeared in the room. Finley's chance to kill came again. Finley immediately became happy. He raised his bed and sneaked into the hallway. He thought that this time he would be successful, but his hands were too short and the bed hit the stairs. The man falls to the ground in fear, but is unharmed. Finley decided to give up killing. Eventually Finley had to join the new family. Three months later, the lovely Finley had settled in, but his desire to kill was still too strong to resist. He ran into the kitchen while they were cooking and dropped rat poison. As the women watched, the woman stopped him immediately. But Finley didn't give up his plan. Seeing Finley making trouble, the man grabbed their mace and sprayed him with it. Finley was sealed in the attic. Before this, he was living in a coffin and was found by the three new people who moved in. He was released and assumed. In the middle of the night, he tries to scare a sleeping woman, but is treated like a common puppet. He didn't seem the least bit threatening. All three of them took Finley's murderous plan as a joke, but Finley's heart never gave up. He vowed to teach these three men a lesson. Men spotted a puppet in his rearview mirror. He was supposed to be a freelance killer, done now? but instead the man said, Are you done now? The puppet was confused. He stopped. He tugged on the plastic bag again and kept pushing. But in his stupidity, he completely ignored the fact that the mouth gun breathed. He was so embarrassing that Finley had to get out of the car and run away. The poor puppet had to crouch by the window and pat the cat, but he was born to kill. He couldn't give up. He turns around and lays nails on the ground. Then he threw a bag full of marbles and then he smashed the glass cup. He smiles and waits for his victims to arrive. He hoped that someone would step on the glass balls and slip on the nails. But he did not realize that the door opened towards the room. Finley fell again. Not long after that three tenants had a birthday party. At that party, the men were imitating Finley's failed attempt at murder. They laughed so hard, they completely forgot that Finley was sitting right next to them. This made Finley feel very humiliated. He immediately went to the drawer and decided to kill them all. He pulled out the flammable guest. While they were blowing out the candles, he hit the switch, but he held the spray upside down. Finley was so traumatized that he decided to plan one last assassination. While the man watched TV, he raised his crossbow and attached his string to the switch. Then he rushed into the shadows and pulled the switch. A heartrending scream came from the living room. Finley was trembling with excitement. He thought it had worked. He ran happily over to the house, only to be dismayed by what it found. The crossbow fell to the floor, leaving the man unharmed. The crossbow has shot straight up to the ceiling. He's no. now screaming because no. the cat pooped in the living room. The man is about to yell. Finley rushes over and tries to make it clear that he's the one who took his shit. He tried to protect the cat but he's not. Smell it he failed as a killer and had been insulted. He felt like a loser. After saying goodbye to his beloved cat, Finley went back to the attic alone and laid down in the coffin. He slowly closed the coffin, tears of sadness falling from the corners of his eyes. But that night, a horrific scene took place. He was the worst murder puppet of all time. He stabbed the woman with a knife but was kicked away. He threw a toaster into the woman's bathtub and forgot to plug it in. He tried to smother the man with a plastic bag, but he forgot that the man's mouth can breathe. And to make matters worse, he's been held down by the group to eat the shit. It feels like a failure as a murder. Finney holds back his grief and finally decides to go back to his coffin and never see anyone again. But at night, two robbers broke into the house. The man was being unconscious with a stick. Just as he went out to look, the two women were dragged into the restaurant. Blindfolded, Finley heard the commotion and hurried downstairs to check. He was shaking with excitement. When he saw these, people they hated had been kidnapped by the robbers. But when the robber pointed their guns at the cats, Finley began to panic. To make matters worse, the robbers were going to rape the woman. After they took the money, Finley was so angry, he turned out the lights and the place went dark. One of the robbers noticed the attic ladder coming down. He's about to check it out when a bunch of glass balls appear under his feet. Finley jumped so hard, the robber couldn't react in time and stepped on the balls then it fell onto a carpet full of nails. 
Then a plastic bag was placed over his mouth and nose, and he was suffocating. Finally Finley wrapped the carpet around him, and pulled out a knife and poked him. Finley couldn't contain his excitement. As he kept stabbing the robber, he finally succeeded in killing him. The other robber heard the commotion, and came to check on him, and found the puppet sitting on a chair. He didn't care about Finley. Finley pulled out a crossbow and shot him in the thigh. While he went to the bathroom to clean up, Finley pulled out another match. He ignites the flammable spray, and sets the robber's hand on fire. He puts his hand in the bathtub in pain. Finley immediately plugged in the charger and killed him. After the incident, the three men were very grateful to Finley. From then on they treated Finley like family, but they just drank a glass of milk, and the man thought it was too sweet, but the woman says she didn't put sugar in it. Together they looked at Finley, who had mistaken the sugar for poison, and put it in the milk. Looks like Finley's only good kill bad guys.